Rightio, so we're going to be installing the spray guard, the spray deflector for the Hummingbird transducer. This was having, you know, as, as the customer's flying along, water's hitting the transducer, spraying up in the air, causing all the mist everywhere, and possibly entering into the motor, which it doesn't want, you don't want that to happen. So he needs, he needs a guard on there of some sort to stop that, because it doesn't matter where this is located, it still seems to be spraying up. All right, now the challenge with this one was, the Hummingbird one, was there was nowhere to fix it to. So, you know, we couldn't put a shield on the top because the guard has to come up. It has to come up so that shield would get in the way there. And also the customer doesn't want any more holes drilled in the transom. So we want to be able to utilise the whole, the, the fixtures that are already there. In this case, we've got this bolt here. Okay, so what we came up with was a uh, two, two part guard, one with, the, it's got a bridge. And, a, and, a set, and it got, it's got the guard itself, which bolts to the bridge. So to install it, take out the existing bolt that you have there. So you take that out, and luckily it doesn't all fall apart on you. It'll stay all nice and firm. So, and then get your bridge, which also the bridge is, it, it goes on there, but it also prevents water coming up through this gap here. If you notice on yours, the water, can, the water could possibly stream, be streaming up through that gap there. It's quite large. So this, this bridge here will stop the water coming up there as well. So, let's install the bridge. Bolt through there, and with, with the kit you'll get an extra longer bolt, an extra long bolt. Uh, so you just get, discard yours using the longer one. And just for the purpose of this video, I'm using normal nuts, not nylon nuts, so with the kit you'll get nylon nuts as well with it. All right, so let's, let's do that up. All right, so that's up nice and firm. And if you notice, this one here is rattling around a bit. That's because it probably needs a screw through the, this hole here. But I'm not going to I'm not going to drill any more holes in the trans. I'll let the customer deal with that. But apparently, he's been running this with that little rattle there, and he doesn't seem to be affecting anything. So let's just leave it as it is. Okay, so we've got a bridge on, stopping the gap. Now it's time to put the guard on, which is straightforward. We've made a little slot in here that fits the cable through it. So, line up the guard with the holes, get everything in the kit, bolts, bolts go on, and they're quite simple to line up. I'm going to try to fit a nylon one on there. So again, you'll get, you'll get nylon ones with the kit, but I'm just using normal nuts there. Okay, that's one, two, and then just give them a tighten up, so it's pretty pretty straightforward. And then you have that, that, that there you go, that's preventing all now, the spray will be deflected back down and there won't be any spray spraying up to the back of the boat. So we've got these in, um, they're all in mirror polish 316 stainless, we do them for the most of the Lowrance models, the structure scan. Um, the, but the best thing about these ones is there's no holes in the transom. We're not, we're not drilling, we could, we could put a big shield here, but that's, we're going to have to do big massive holes in here and, and people don't want all that sort of stuff. So we're using the existing, in all the guards that we've done, we're, we're using the existing holes that are already there. So there's no more holes to be drilled. Um, yeah, you, if you want to look up some more designs or look at the prices and that sort of thing, if you look up TIG Integrity on Facebook, and that'll show you some of the different designs and the costs and things like that. So there you have it. The, that's the guard to suit the Hummingbird transducer.